Welcome back guys for another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a pond my friend is building, kind of like an aquaponics swimming area kind of combination. So they'll just show you, be showing you like the before pictures and then so forth. So that's what I'll be showing you in this area out here. So a friend of mine is making a pond slash bog slash swim pond area out here, aquaponics kind of thing. So you have swimming pool kind of over here, a bog over here, some waterfalls and filtration over here. Then a long stream going along that side to where all the fish would be, which would be all the way out over there, which is going to be pretty cool. Be a lot of digging though. Have to get deep or a big pond over there. Have a stream coming along here for like rafts and stuff like that coming into this area, which will be a swimming area. Over there will be like a bog, big rocks, and some filtration over there. It's gonna be pretty cool. So these are just some before pictures showing you this. Here's some drone footage of the area. You can see his house on the left and those little dots you can see is where the stream is basically gonna be. So here on the left is where the swimming pool er or swimming area is going to be. It's going to be quite some size. I think it's like 50,000 gallons in that spot. Right there, what we're looking at, there's going to be a bog right there. And then the stream is already built. All that dirt still needs to be moved. So for the majority of the construction, it's going to be used 45 mil EPDM rubber liner, the Firestone brand. Those fiberglass tubs on top are just for shade at the moment, just to prevent some algae growth. The ones that we see here on the right are going to go on the left. They're going to be used as media grow beds. They're going to be filled with lava rock, and then plants are going to be going in there. We got a little aerator on the left there. We've got a fair amount of fiberglass tanks. All of those were bought off of Craigslist. So now here we're moving towards the main pond area. The liner still has to be stretched out until the end over here. And the liner will be seamed together with some seam tape. And yeah, the, that's the main area we're looking at right there. That's where all the fish and everything is going to be at. In this stream, there's probably going to be like catfish or sturgeon or whatnot in there. But here it's for like the ducks and the main area for swimming. Or not for swimming, uh, for the fish. So that stream itself is like a hundred feet, I believe. Maybe a little less because the liner came in a hundred foot roll. So you have to take into account the sides. So maybe like 90 feet. So there we have some ducks. Those are the original ducks from his duck bonnet system. So this is the same guy I showed you his system earlier before. He moved from there to this property to make something bigger. We have the water hyacinth in the pond to basically shade it a little more so that there's less al less algae growth right now while he's doing the construction. That pretty much sums up this video. I'll do a little more updates on the particular project so you'll see some more videos of it. If you do have any questions, remember to leave those below. Otherwise, thank you for watching.